WTFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in Clearwater, Florida, 2 p.m. Eastern time, two hours until that closing bell. Let's check in on the markets as we have the Fed decision coming as we speak. Dow Jones up 107 points, trading at 24,612. S&P positive by two points, trading at 2,666. And NASDAQ positive by 18 points, trading at 6,880. Let's jump over to the Nadex platform, check in on some of the futures markets. So the market's going to be reacting a bit to the Fed, and we'll get into that news in a moment. S&P 500 trading up a bit, 26.71. NASDAQ 100 getting a little bit of a boost on what's happening with the Fed as we speak, 64.19. There's the Dow 30 trading up a bit, 24,646, approaching those intraday highs of about 24,680, only 30 points from that level. Crude oil, 56.86. We had... The inventory numbers for crude coming in 10.30 a.m. Eastern time this morning. Crude pulling back a bit, down under $57. Gold getting a boost on the Fed decision as we speak. And euro as well. Euro boosting a bit, getting a little bit of a dollar pullback. So let's jump back here and see if we can get what's happening in the world. So let's go. Top live. Here we are. So... Still seeing three hikes in 2018. That's one of the biggest things that was going to be the forecast. And pulling it up, here we are. Fed raises rates by quarter point, so that's what we expected, and the Fed is still seeing three rate hikes in 2018. So that's going to be the headline news for what's coming out. And, of course, what can definitely move these markets is 2.30 Eastern time, a half hour from right now, Janet Yellen press conference talking about what will happen probably in the coming year, and we'll see where that sends the market. Jumping back. What else we have going on in the market? We had CPI this morning, 8.30 Eastern Time, 0.4% coming in. Not quite what they expected in terms of the core number com coming only in at 0.1%. And then other news. So there it is, the headline, of course, Fed raises quarter point, hikes growth outlook for economy. So maybe that's what's putting a little bit of muster in the market. And chipping back, what else is moving today? How about Bitcoin, right? Let's pull over the chart. There is Bitcoin. Pulling back more than 10%. This is a live chart we're looking at. 16,411. We're up at almost 17,5, below 16,000. SIBO futures had to get halted for one of those trading curbs. Down more than 10%, rebounding a bit now. Bitcoin coming to the CME this weekend as well. Stay tuned. We have our man David White right now at 2 o'clock. Tom O'Brien at 3 o'clock. Have a great afternoon, everybody.